Hi sisters, James Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you guys can see, we are not in the normal makeup studio and for today's video, we are doing a super, super fun makeup challenge. I am literally so pumped for this, but also a little bit nervous, not gonna lie. A few weeks ago, I saw my good sister, Nikita Dragon, do a video where she got ready in Sephora using all tester makeup. And for today's video, I wanna recreate that video by Nikita, but we're gonna try to do it in under 30 minutes. I feel like 30 is a pretty good number for this video, being that the average person probably spends around 20 minutes on their everyday makeup routine. And for a special event, they may take a little bit more time. Also for me, my average makeup routine takes me around two hours. So 30 minutes is definitely a huge major challenge. And we also have to take into consideration that every Sephora is different and the layouts are all different. So a lot of that time is probably gonna be spent finding my shades and finding the products in general. I'm gonna be getting ready today using all the makeup in Sephora, including their spooky lighting and mirrors. But I did pick out a few things that I wanted to bring here from home, starting off with a damp beauty sponge to blend in my foundation, five brushes that I felt like I could not do a makeup routine without being a contour brush that I'm also gonna use for brush, blush, hello, and powder, a nose contouring brush, a flat top concealer brush, a highlighting brush, and then a pencil brush. And finally, I also grabbed a pair of lashes. These are the new Bouncing Bellas. Obviously, being a makeup store, Sephora does sell all the items that I'm gonna be bringing with me today, but first of all, that's kind of really unsanitary. I'm definitely not trying to get any styes or diseases or infections spooked. And two, all the sample makeup that we're gonna be using is like out and open to the public to use, but all of these items are pre-packaged, and that, folks, is what we like to call stealing. And for me personally, I'm trying to get a house and a boyfriend, not a lawsuit in jail time. <laughs> Without further ado, let's call our Uber. By the way, you can use code SISTERJAMES for $5 off your first three Ubers. I don't know if I've ever actually mentioned that in a YouTube video, but you're welcome. Beep beep. And let's get started with the Sephora makeup challenge. <laughs> All right, guys, we have arrived here at Sephora and the challenge is ready to go. I'm gonna set the timer for 30 minutes. Guys, I'm a little bit spooked. I'm gonna try my best to clean all the products before using them because it can sometimes be very, very unsanitary, but we're definitely gonna get a full glam makeover done, fingers crossed at least, in under 30 minutes. I have my timer right here ready to go. We're gonna set this baby for 30 minutes exactly on the clock. Okay, we ready, set, go. Okay, let's go, let's go. So we have to start off and we need to prime our face. So I'm gonna go for the Tatcha area wherever that is, and that's gonna be in skincare. So we're running, we're running, 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 running. So we got Heart, Becca, Fresh, It, Dr. Brandt. Uh-oh, is Tatcha not in this Sephora? I'm scared. Way, Bosha, Origin, Believe. Is Tatcha not in this Sephora? Tatcha, bam! Okay, starting off, water cream primer. You guys know, this is my all-time fave. I always gotta moisturize the face before starting my makeup routine. Really good, really fresh. And then the new Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer as well is a whopping $52, hello. Tatcha getting real brave with their prices, Gab, but I love you the most. This primer is so bomb. Honestly, one of the only good primers that I've ever tried that actually makes a difference. So we're gonna put this right on the face for the makeup challenge. I need a mirror. I forgot how spooky the Sephora lighting is. Foundation, let's go. We need the Too Faced Brown This Way foundation. You guys know that's my all-time holy grail fave and they do carry Too Faced Brown This Way in Sephora. I think my shade is warm. Uh-oh. I know my not spray tan shade is warm nude, but I'm still spray tan from Coachella. Okay, I'm just gonna go with it. You know what? Go big, go home. This might be a flash like Mary type of day, but better be safe than sorry. I know this one matches me, so we're gonna make it work. Go to mirror right now. I have my damn beauty blender still. You you guys know a few videos where I talked about my tips and tricks to getting perfect skin when you're doing your base makeup. And the one trick that I talked about was when you're shopping for foundation, you should always go outside and look at your shade range with a mirror before you actually put it on and buy it in the store because the lighting in Sephora is all obviously fluorescent lights and outside lighting is obviously where you wanna make sure your foundation really, really matches. But we do not have time for foundation check today, so I'm just gonna blend this in all over my face. Oh Lord, I need more. I don't have enough coverage. Oh my God, I'm scared. Can't forget to get the neck. If this foundation doesn't match, that's gonna be the one saving grace. To hide it is blend it all the way down. I am wearing a Sisters Apparel hoodie today, so, oh wait, it's on the front. Sisters Apparel hoodie today, I'm a mess. This is so hard, so don't forget to check all those out for your cute sisters gear. Can't forget to blend the ears as well. Okay, I don't even have time. We need to move on to concealer. What concealer do I want to use? Oh my God, Shape Tape isn't sold in Sephora. Ooh, <laughs> okay, Urban Decay All Nighter. Here she is, okay. Um. Oh wait, or the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I don't know what to do. Ah, where's NARS? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Kat Von D, Sephora, Huda Beauty, Urban Decay, Too Faced, Buxom. Where did NARS go? I know we saw NARS. Hello. I don't have time for this. We're going with the Urban Decay Naked Skin because I literally cannot find the other concealer, so that's great. That's too light, oh my god. Okay, this is in the shade Light Warm. That is too yellow, oh my god. You've gotta be kidding me. Light Neutral, let's try this again. My phone is ringing, don't even know who it is, sorry. In the makeup challenge. Gonna put in all the high points of my face, center of the forehead, right down the bridge of the nose. 
over the mustache area. I did shave before this video. If shaving is part of the challenge, we'd be here for an extra hour. Thank God my beauty blender somehow managed to stay wet on the Uber ride over here because if this was dry, oh, we would be screwed to the next level. Oh my God, using this concealer really reminds me how much I need shave tape in my life. Why does that have to be an Ulta exclusive? They really played us good with that one, gal. <laughs> I feel like it's been several minutes now and I literally only have two steps done. I'm scared. My skin looks horrible. Okay, whatever. We need Laura Mercier to this powder now. I'm holding my eyes open so I don't get creases. Laura Mercier, oh, here she is. Hello. This is not good. These are empty. We're gonna try this. I don't know what this is. Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm a, no, no mirror. Okay, let's try this. Blend in the creases. Oh my God, this looks horrible. I guess I'm just gonna dip my beauty blender into whatever this is. Set this in place. Oh God. Classic Mary is coming out to play. I'm scared. <gasps> the Too Faced Sweet Peach Powder. Wait, that, oh, hoo, ha, hoo. Not here, back. Oh my God, my face looks the worst. I'm scared. Okay, do you need to put this back? Okay, next we need to, I'm sorry, I don't have time for that. Okay, next we need to chisel out and bronze our face. So we're going, ah! Miss Kat Von D, Shade and Light. You guys know I'm a sister stan. I've been using that damn Shade and Light palette since I started doing makeup. It looks busted and cr oh. Hello. This is literally what mine looks like. Gonna chisel this out. I'm using a Morphe M405 brush. Not sold at Sephora, but Use code James for 10% off. The lighting in here is literally the worst. I'm scared. That's harsh, huh? <laughs> we said we were contoured sisters today. Chisel out that jawline. We have to be sister snatched. Light at that forehead. Fool the gals into thinking I have a forehead instead of a five head. Really snatch it up good. I had blush on this brush before I brought it here for contouring, but I'm very scared that I'm looking probably a little bit pink. Oh my God, we only have 18 minutes left. Ah, how has it already been 12 minutes? You have got to be kidding me. Got to chisel out the nose. My nose contour is my most vital step to my makeup routine. I don't care how long a makeup challenge is. I I'm getting a nose contour in there, even if it takes me the entire time. Y'all thought I was playing. <laughs> what brand has setting sprays here? Let's see. Um, oh, Urban Decay, perfect. So we have all nighter. I'm not ready to really set my face yet, but you know what? We're just gonna give like a dewy spritz. We need to highlight. Let's find Anastasia Beverly Hills. I know she's here. Okay, um, we have the glow kits here. You guys know my all-time favorite is Anastasia So Hollywood, but they actually don't sell those in stores anymore, which is so rude. I don't know what Miss Laura Mercier was doing with that setting powder, but she was not the tea. My face is creasing. So bad. I'm scared. I need to blend this in. Okay, let's do nose highlight. Same exact product over here. My face looks bad. I'm really scared right now. I need more translucent setting powder. What brand has a loose setting powder? I need to bake my face. Oh, here's the NARS counter. Wow, love that. Great. Oh, cover facts. Yeah, okay. It looks like there's some powder. Oh, great. We found powder. We found powder. We found powder. We found powder. Gonna snatch some of this up real quick. My beauty blender is stuck at the bottom of my thing. Ha -ha. They're kidding me. I need to bake my face because this looks horrible right now. That's white. I'm scared. Okay. For baking. Oh my God, I'm dropping things. No! <laughs> I'm getting stressed. I can't do this. Okay, it's time for brows. And I'm very scared because I feel like, if anything, brows are gonna be the very, very long process, perfect benefit for my brow number four. Let's go over here. I can usually do my makeup routine. Actually, you know what? Maybe I should use the Goof Proof Brow Pencil instead. <gasps> okay, scratch that. We're using the Benefit Precisely, or hello, Benefit Goof. We don't even have my shade. We're using the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil number five to snatch my brows up really quickly. I normally hate these shape of brow pencils, but it's much bigger and we really don't have a lot of time left. So I need to cover the most amount of brow space in the shortest amount of time possible. Just filling these in like normal, starting at the bottom of the brow using light strokes and then going right in and filling. Ah, no, you're kidding, hello. That's the worst eyebrow I've ever seen in my entire life. What is going on? <laughs> I'm scared of the eyebrow. Okay, you know what? We do have a concealer brush, so we're gonna clean it up in a second. Let's see if we can do this one a little bit better. My brows are by far my longest and also one of my least favorite parts of my makeup routine, just because it's literally the same thing every single time. Like you never get to spice it up or anything. So I feel like if I can finish my eyebrows and have them looking decent with a few minutes remaining, I will actually be golden for this challenge. I can pop on a mascara and lashes and a lip pretty quickly, but these brows may be my death wish. Oh my God, <laughs> this eyebrow is bad. I feel like we can make this work. Okay, I don't have time to finish this anymore. What time are we at? Nine minutes. Left? Yeah. Oh, NARS is over here. No, it's not. Her is here. Where is the NARS counter? We just saw it. I, this is a joke. Where? Thanks. Ah! Thanks, girl. Where's the concealer? Oh, right here. Okay, great. Hold on, I need more of that. And we're gonna use this to clean up our brows. Let's grab the brow kit right here. We have our flat top concealer brush. Okay, 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 okay. Not mad at that, we can do this, we can do this. You guys, that is a decent sense of brow. Let's be real, could be a little better, but definitely could be a whole lot worse. Let's pull in that 
concealer down to my eyelid because we're gonna use that as an eyeshadow primer. I definitely do not have time for an eyeshadow look today, but I feel like we should go for a wing liner moment. Can you use my fingers to blow this out because I didn't bring a blending brush. I feel like at this point, we're not even gonna get a liner on, so let's just skip right to mascara. I know Benefit Roller Lash. Okay, let's go over here. Benefit Roller Lash is one of my all-time favorite mascaras for literally the longest time I stand by this. It's a really, really bomb mascara. Using mascara from Sephora testers is probably one of the worst ideas ever in the entire world because eye issues are so easy <laughs> to transfer. You guys know I'm already legally blind, so I can't wait to wake up tomorrow with a sty, but you know what? We gotta make do with what we have. So I'm just gonna pop this on. I'm gonna keep my mascara right here. We have lashes and lips to do still. So let's see if we can do this. I have my lashes right here and my lash glue right here. Let's see. Oh my God, I don't have tweezers. Oh my God, that is not, okay. You're kidding me. I'll clean that up. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Oh my God, I can't even put lashes on with tweezers, let alone without. This is a joke. Be careful of that sticky stuff on the floor. Oh, you're kidding me. Don't even have time to fix it. Okay, lips, 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 lips. One minute. We're gonna do this one right here. 45 seconds. That's the worst lip application I've ever done in my entire life. Setting spray. We need to lock it in place. <laughs> Seven seconds. Oh my God, wait, my beak. Let's evaluate. Actually, let's evaluate as I clean up the floor. Hold on, let's see what we can do here. We love a humble sister. This was so much harder than I expected. Like I was saying going into it, all the products that I usually need are all over the place in every different Sephora. Whereas in my normal makeup routine, I have everything right down in front of me. I feel like majority of this challenge was actually spent with me running around Sephora, not being able to make decisions on what products I wanted to use or where I wanted to use them. And that really took away from a lot of the time doing my actual makeup. I feel like the primer and foundation application were really fine, but we definitely lost to a concealer. You guys know that my go-to is always the Tarte Shape Tape, which I don't actually carry at Sephora. And I have not used a different concealer than that in literally, it's been a good like year, I think now. I think I was definitely a little bit shook when I had to use a lesser coverage concealer. And I think from that moment on, we were just screwed. Miss Laura Mercier, she was a smart sister because she didn't stock up a single, oh. Who restocked us? You played me real good with that gal. Well, now there's powder here, but beforehand, there was no Miss Laura Mercier, so I did not get to set my face today. Wow, I love when that happens, <laughs> of course. And then we moved on to, of course, contouring. Of course, we had the Kat Von D Shade Light Palette. You guys know that is my all-time favorite. And then baking, once again, we had no chance of setting powder, so we had to end up going with Cover FX powder, which I've never actually used before. Let's see how she looks. Oh, not that bad. Okay, it went on very, very white and was definitely sticking on my face white as well, so I was a little bit spooked, not gonna lie that it wasn't gonna work out, but I think my face actually looks really, really good. The lashes are there, but I went necessarily call them on. I definitely need a good pair of tweezers for lash application, so definitely not the best. And then of course, we literally had a few seconds left to put on our lipstick. I went with just a Tarte liquid lipstick. I hate this color, but it was literally the first thing that I grabbed with me. Looks fine. This challenge, I think was a success. I finished everything in time. My face doesn't look the best, but from far away and a little bit of face tune, I feel like we could definitely pass for a full on event ready glam. Maybe. All right, you guys, we just got home from Sephora and that completes this get ready with me in Sephora using all tested makeup in under 30 minute challenge. We need a better name for that ASAP. <laughs> I had so much fun filming this challenge today, you guys, and overall, even though my face doesn't look as perfect as I usually like it to, I'm definitely really happy with the results and I think that that answers the burning question that we've all been wondering. Is it possible to get fully ready in Sephora? Yes, I think it really is. Of course, I did bring a few tools, but you know, we're just being sanitary sisters. <laughs> just a quick little sister disclaimer as well. At the end of all my challenge videos, I always say, if you guys try this one at home, make sure to shoot me a picture and let me know how it went. But for this one, please do not try to duplicate this one. We did talk to the manager staff at Sephora beforehand and made sure not only was it okay to film in there, but also do this challenge in general. They were kind enough to let us do this, but that's only because they knew who I was. I shop there all the time and they know that I was a beauty guru filming this for a YouTube video. Let's be straight up and real. We have all brought products before, essentially from drugstore where you can't actually try it out. And we went home, put it on, and it literally looked the worst. So I think that the fact that we're able to try out products in Sephora before actually buying them is such an incredibly helpful system that makes makeup shopping so much easier. And although this challenge was very, very fun to film for you guys, please do not do this because at the end of the day, it's very much taking advantage of Sephora and I don't want to do that to them. If there's an emergency situation, definitely go in for a good and fresh Sister Glam touch up. The staff is all amazing and will definitely help you look beautiful and fabulous, but anything more, you're doing that at your own risk. 
you did not hear this from me. With all that being said, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this little challenge today. And if you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below and show your support. It really does mean a lot. And as well, if you have not already, make sure to click that big red subscribe button down below and come join the sisterhood. We are pretty lit. And click that bell icon so you can be notified every time I upload a brand new video. If you'd like to follow me on my makeup journey, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. They're both just James Charles. And my Snapchat for more behind the scenes type stuff is James Charles with an extra S after Charles. This video is sister shout out goes to sister Kenzie. Thank you so much, love, for always following and supporting you. I love you so, so, so much. And if you'd like to be the next video, sister shout out, make sure to always reach out your video links and they go live on Twitter. All right, sisters, thank you so much for watching this video. I love you and I will see you in the next one. Bye.